Yes, sure. Please. Mm, have you met her? Or has she given you something? Mm. Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, JBest TV. On today's video, I'll be telling you about the biography of a popular Nollywood actress, Omotala Jalade Kainde. I'll tell you about her personal life, her career, and lots more. Please stay tuned, guys. Be strong. Be strong. Omotala Jalade Kainde, who is of Ondo descent, was born in Lagos State. She grew up in a family of five, inclusive of her parent, two younger brothers, Tayo and Bolaji Jalade. Her mother, Uluwatuni Jalade Ni Amori Oguntade, worked at JT Janre, Nigeria, and her father, Uluwashola Jalade, worked at the YMCA and the Lagos Country Club. Omatala's original ambition was to work in business management while awaiting her results from university. She began modeling to earn a living. She attended Christian Land School, Okpebi, from 1981 to 1987. She also attended Oxford Children's School in 1987 and Santos Layout and Command Secondary School, Kaduna, from 1988 to 1993. She had a brief sting at Obafemi Awolowo University and completed her studies at Yaba College of Technology from 1996 to 2004, where she studied estate management. Beyond her show business accomplishments, Omotala Jalade is also applauded for her remarkable humanitarian efforts. She is one of the pioneers of the video film era of Nigerian cinema, becoming one of the most watched actresses in Africa. In the year 2013, she was honored in Times Magazine's list of 100 most influential people in the world alongside Michelle Obama, Beyonce, and Kate Middleton. Omotala Jalade Kainde, MFR, was born on the 7th February 1978. She's an actress, she's a singer, a philanthropist, and also a former model. Since her Nollywood film debut in 1995, Omotala has appeared in over 300 films, selling millions of video copies. After receiving numerous high-profile awards, launching a music career, and amassing an enviable fan base, the press has dubbed her as the real African magic. Omotala Jalade was introduced into acting by accompanying a friend to an audition. Her first acting role was in 1995 movie Venom of Justice, which was directed by Reginald Eberi. Reginald has been cited as launching Omotala's career. She was given the lead role in the movie, which set the stage for a flourishing career in the Nollywood film industry. Omotala got her first big role in the critical acclaimed film Mortal Inheritance in 1995. In the movie, she played a sickle cell patient who fought for her life despite the odds of survival. Omotala's character overcame the disease and she had the baby. The film is regarded as one of the Nigeria's best movies ever made. Since then, she has starred in several blockbusters movies, including Games Women Play, Blood Sisters, All My Life, Last Wedding, My Story, The Woman in Me, and a host of others. After a career-defining role in Mortal Inheritance, Omotala Portrayal won her the Best Actress in an English-speaking movie and the Best Actress Overall at the 1997 Movie Awards. She was the youngest actress in Nigeria at that time to achieve this feat. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, the increasingly known actress starred in several sequel films including Lost Kingdom 2, Kosoro Gun 2, and Blood Sister 2, leading to a Grand Achiever Award on behalf of the Global Excellence Recognition Awards in the year 2004. By the mid-year 2000, Omotala had cap catapulted into a list status. She was awarded Best Actress in a Supporting Role during the African Movie Academy Awards in 2005. After shooting roughly 300 video films, Omotala received her first cinematic movie role in the year 2010 in the film EJ. This film was shot at locations in Joss and the United States. EJ was the highest grossing Nollywood film at the time, a fear later broken by Phone Swap, which was produced in 2012. 
In 2012, she starred in Nollywood blockbuster Last Flight to Abuja, which beat Hollywood blockbusters like Spider-Man, Think Like a Man, Ice Age, The Adventures, and Madagascar to become the second highest grossing movie in West African cinemas. Omotala has gone on to win over 40 domestic and international awards. She's considered as Africa's biggest box office actress. In 2015, Omotala celebrated her 20th anniversary in the entertainment industry. Omotala has appeared in about 200 movies and in June 2018, Omotala, alongside Femi Odogbemi, received the invitation to join the Oscars in the year 2018 as voting members. About her music career, Almost Sexy, which is also her nickname, launched a long-awaited music career in 2005 with the release of her debut album titled Ba. The album produced the singles Ninja Loa and The Things You Do To Me. Her unreleased second album, Me, Myself and I, brought in production from Paul Play and Del B. It was supported by the songs Feel Alright featuring Harry Song and Through the Fire featuring Uche. The album's launch party was scheduled to hold in Nigeria and tables were expected to sell for 1 million naira. In late 2012, Omotala began working on her third album and enlisted the help of The Bridge Entertainment. Omotala went to Atlanta to work with a few prominent producers and songwriters who could help her create a sound that would resonate with American audiences. She had studio sessions with Kendrick Dean, Drummer Boy, and Vera Sims Simmons, and recorded with a song with singer Bobby. About her reality show, in 2012, Omotala launched her own reality show titled The Real Me on African Magic Entertainment, an Mnet movie subsidiary broadcast that was also shown on DSTV. This made Omotala the first Nigerian celebrity to star in her own reality show. As said earlier, Omotala is also a philanthropist. Omotala became a United Nations World Food Program Ambassador in 2005, going to missions in Sierra Leone and Liberia. Omotala also supports organizations such as Charles Odi's SME 100 Africa to empower youths and young women in the society. She has been active in the Work and World Project and participated in the Work the World campaign in Liberia with President Erlene Sarleaf Johnson. Omotala is known as a fierce human rights campaigner and her philanthropy efforts are centered on her NGO project called the Omotala Youth Empowerment Program, OYEP. The undertaking brought hundreds of youths together for the Empowerment Work and Convention. She also lent her voice in 2010 to rewrite the future campaign of Save the Children in UK. She also lent her voice in 2010 to rewrite the future campaign of the Save the Children in the United Kingdoms. She also became an Amnesty International campaigner in 2011 and has participated in campaigns in Sierra Leone known as the maternal mortality and her recent campaign of the Ninja Delta in Nigeria where she shot a video asking Shell and the government to own up, clean up, pay up and take responsibilities of the oil spills in the Niger Delta. In June 2020, she visited an orphanage home in Tanzania run by Tanzania Mitindo House, which focuses on HIV-infected children. She was also welcomed at the Julius Nyerere Airport by a Tanzanian celebrity, Wema Sapetu, amidst dancing and singing. She then had lunch together with the orphanage children at the home of Wema Sapetu. To commemorate the 2021 World No Tobacco Day and the Smoke Free Nollywood campaign, Omotala and some Nollywood stars like Dakore, Daniele Fiong, Meg Otanwa, Michelle Dede, or SARS, amongst others, pledged to stop smoking in their movie scenes as it had a negative influence on young kids who look up to them. The campaign was backed by U.S. non-profit organization Tobacco Free Kids and a sub-Saharan public strategy firm, Gatefield. Omotala has gained so many accolades. On November 5, Omotala was honored with the Ebony Vanguard Award at the Music Video and Screen Awards MVISA held in Brigham. And on the 9th November 2013, 
Oba Victor Kila Dejo, the royal king of Ondo Kingdom, conferred Omotala with a chieftaincy title in her hometown of Ondo State. Omotala Jalade was cited as one of the top 100 most influential Africans by New African Magazine in 2013. Omotala married Captain Matthew Ekainde in 1996. The couple later held a white ceremony on board a Dash 7 aircraft while flying from Lagos to Benin in 2001, with close family and friends present. She gave birth to her first daughter on 30th March 1997. Together, they have four children, known as Princess, MJ, Mariah, and Michael. She lost her father in 1991. Omotala has also starred in several movies like Venom of Justice, Cause to Settle, When Love Dies, Under Fire, Rescue, Braveheart, Sand in My Shoes, Careless Souls, Yankee Girls, Temple of Justice, and lots more. So guys, that is all we have on today's video about Omotala Jalade. Please stay tuned for our next video. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so. Don't also forget to click on the notification bell icon so you get notified on our new videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to drop your thoughts in, your com in our comment section. See you in our next video, guys.